Hi, I'm Don Hopkins, and I'm going to show you the Unity 3D Pi menus that I've developed at the Stupid Fun Club for use in our own applications, and I'm going to publish them as free open source software on the Unity App Store for anybody to use. They're very general purpose, and you can configure them for whatever you need, and then you can integrate with them with your app to give interesting feedback. So this is a Pi menu with eight items for SimCity for selecting an editing tool. Now you pop the menu up, and you see in the center, right next to your cursor where you're looking, the menu title and the menu description. And then you see all the labels of the items. Now, as you, uh, the neat thing about Pi menus is that every item is very close to your cursor. The, the target area is right next to you, and they're in a different direction. So, and they're a very big area. So they're very fast to select from, especially when you learn them. Now, if I move towards an item, it brings it to my cursor here, and it hides all the other labels, and it shows the item description. And I can browse around the menu and read the different descriptions. And, uh, you know, it's bringing these to my where my eyes are looking instead of how I have to move my eyes around a lot. Now, um, one, one thing is that uh, you can disable a menu item, but it also tells you why the item's disabled. So Pac-Man was misbehaving, and I'm not going to even go into it. You don't want to know. So uh, he's been disabled. Don't worry. Now, there's menus, uh, there's submenus, for example, here. We can click up the submenu, and we get, you know, these extra items. Um, now you can notice how like the it won't let the uh, labels go off the screen, so uh, and it it like hides all the other things so you can concentrate on what you're gonna select. And uh, now uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's this head in the middle of the menu that's looking around at the menu items, kind of like in The Sims. Uh, now this is to demonstrate the kind of things you can do by having notifiers that react to tracking. That, that modify objects in the world to show you like what's going to happen before you've selected it. So, um, or just, you know, give you some interesting feedback. Now, I'm not actually moving my head around. It's just twisting this 3D object. So um, now th that's accomplished with some notifiers. And you can also, um, you know, react to things, change these 3D objects in interesting ways. And um, so now one, one neat thing is how do you define a Pi menu? There's, there's three ways. Um, you can do it algorithmically through an API if, if you want to build them programmatically. Um, and you can also write JSON, and you, know, you could download that from a server or, or write it as text. Um, now, the, the other thing that Unity is very nice about is that it lets you edit things using this inspector window and an object tree browser. So you don't even need to know how to program to do that. So, so like, uh, you know, what I have here is a, is a, an object that contains all the Pi menus and, um, the Pi menus contain sub objects that are the items like the bulldozer. And I can select these and I can move them around. Now, uh, one nifty thing here, um, the, the Pi menu, when I select it, I get a custom editor that shows its properties. Um, and like I could drag and drop a game object into it or a texture or, or a font to use. And then I can change whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise, what, what the f initial angle is. Um, and uh, also uh, it has a, a little outline of all the items. So now this has eight items and, you know, item zero is to the north because 90 degrees is the initial angle. And then the next one is northeast because we're going clockwise. So, so you can edit these things and you can drag a texture and object in. Um, now it's a little hard to visualize this because this is a list but it's being laid out in a circle. So I've made a even easier way to edit the items and that is within the world using the editor here. So say I wanted to switch the Pac-Man and the question mark query tool. I can just drag them around and get them you know more or less in the right place. And then I go over here um, let's see, Whoop. I go over here to the menu itself and I'll select this command to get items from sub objects and it'll, it'll tidy it up. And now, as you can see, the, uh, the second object here, the Northeast is query instead of, of, uh, Pac-Man. So, and then like, you know, Pac-Man here, I could go over here and, uh, he's disabled. I could enable him and then maybe I'll make, let's make this menu really tight. It'll, there'll be a little overlap, but it's okay. Um, radius of uh, 50. So uh, now now we'll go and run the, uh, the game. And 
pop up a menu. So see how they're all tight, uh, really close, uh, and uh, the Pac-Man's here, and he follows runs and eats traffic, so he's not disabled anymore. So, uh, you know, similarly, you can set, for example, uh, you know, infrastructure here. Uh, well, let's make it a little, let's put it back to 150. But, um, for example, this item here, the top one in the north is infrastructure, and it has a sub-menu called infrastructure, and that just hooks it up to, uh, you know, to this sub-menu. So, you know, I'm uh, exploring ways to make these menus easier to edit within this tool and take advantage of all the editing abilities that Unity has. So I'll make it more, you know, direct manipulation. And um, But anyway, this is just a start, and uh, I will uh, make it available on the Unity App Store and make some demos that use it. So stay tuned. Bye-bye.